everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my makeup rehab for you. This one, this one's a doozy. I, I was doing really good and then things happened and well, then I wasn't doing quite as good. I mean, it's still not bad, but anyway, if you're not familiar with makeup rehab or you've been, people have been doing this for years. This is only my second year doing it. I know there's tons of people doing it out there. I do not know where it originated, but I, I know there's a ton of people that are working on it how cute she's being back there um mine is pretty simple this year once I, I tweaked my rules a little bit to give me a little less leeway I no longer give myself points for pans I only give myself points for things that I have finished and I get points taken away for things that come into my collection whether it's PR a gift you know decluttered from a friend doesn't matter you know it, it costs me but, however, if I declutter to a friend, not declutter just to declutter to throw something away, but like if I'm giving someone something from my collection that they want, then um, I will get a point back for those types of things because I'm, I'm not getting rid of it. I'm like a lot of times I'll get PR that just doesn't work for me and it costs me a point to get it in. So I should get that point back if I give that product that doesn't work for me to someone else. I hope that makes sense. But everything that comes in costs me a point. Everything that it, that goes out legitimately, I get a point back for. So let's do this. Um, sorry if I'm not explaining quite as well. My brain is just, it's in another place right now. So bear with me. I'm gonna try to make this make as much sense as possible. For last month, I had 59 and a half points because, um, you know, I've been doing fairly decent and slowly, slowly building up my bank. So 59 and a half points. I'm, I'm not too mad about that. And if you watched my empties video, which I literally just finished filming like 15 minutes ago, um, but it should have been up yesterday or the day before, depending on when I put this one up, I finished a total of 29 items, which ain't too shabby. I had a pretty darn good month, 29 things left. So if you take that 59 and a half points, you can add 29 points to it. I'm not gonna math, it'll be on the, the board. I'll keep track of everything. And yeah, I, I feel like I did pretty good with that. And I actually felt like I did pretty good with my PR and my purchases. I only made one purchase, which I made mention of in my empties video. And I really didn't get a ton in PR, which was by design. And then my friend Linda visited and things went awry. I'm gonna show you the PR, I'm gonna show you the purchases, and then I will show you what kind of um, hindered my progress a little bit. So I did make one purchase and it is the Onyx Professional 100% Acetone Nail Polish and Artificial Nail Remover. I don't wear artificial nails, these are all me, but um, I do like to have these tubs because they make my life easier. This one sounds very liquidy. I'm not used to having, can you hear that? I hope there's like a good sponge in there because, you know, that's why I bought it. So that was my one and only purchase. So I need to take a point off for that. And then I did get five things in at PR. I've got three things from The Ordinary. The first one is the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Inulin, which I have no idea what that is. Body lotion, it, you know, skincare for your body, I guess. And then also from The Ordinary, it is the Salicylic Acid half a percent body serum, which I think you can use this on your face too, but don't quote me on that because I don't really remember. And then, oh no, this is the one that you can use on your face or your body. This is the Ordinary Niacinamide 5% Face and Body Emulsion. That's the one that I could put on my face too. And if I run out of niacinamide, I might actually do that because that is a must for this oily girl. I also got this in from Peter Thomas Roth. These all went through Skeepers, but um, the brand sends them through Skeepers. If you have been on Skeepers, which used to be Octoly, you will understand. If not, that's that's a whole nother video to explain. This is um, their individual swabs that have peel on them, so you can really dedicate them to the areas that you want to if you want to do that, or you could do your whole face. I like to do peels, so I was Definitely happy to get that one to try. I have not tried any of this yet. I just got it all in within the last little bit of time. And this is a brand I had never even heard of before. This is Sarah Creel. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's like real with a C on the front. 
and it is the Back of the Cab Volumizing Long Wearing Tubing Mascara. This, I'm interested to try. This brand is supposed to be for mature women. I think they mean physically, not mentally or emotionally, because I don't know that I would qualify if it wasn't, you know, physically, chronologically mature. But I'm excited to try this brand, and I'm definitely excited to try a new tubing mascara. So that will be tested out very, very soon. But those are the only five PR things that I got in, so not too shabby on that. So I have to take five points off for that. So with my PR points coming off five and my nail polish remover tub coming off, that's a total of six points that I had to take off. If I had only that to worry about, it would be easy. It, it would have been a great month points wise because 29 out, only six in, not too shabby, right? But then again, my friend Linda visited, which is fine. I like to have her visit. I took her out to lunch with the kids. We had, we had a good time. We did a little shopping, not like for anything that would count against my rehab, but you know, just hanging out, doing some stuff. And I think I've mentioned in previous videos over the years that she had a serious shopping addiction and I'm not being facetious at all. She legit had a shopping addiction. She had HSN QVC accounts and she lives alone. She is older than me and I guess she would get bored and she'd be watching these um, HSN QVC things that they do. I've seen a couple here or there, but it's not my thing, but you know, she would see something that she liked. She would just on her phone type in whatever codes they have to do because she had an account set up and they would ship stuff to her house and she would get stuff on auto ship and it would just keep coming and keep coming. And it was a problem. Her house for a while looked like a hoarder house, but it was not like messy. It was just boxes of things that she purchased. And yes, my, my eye is twitching a little bit. If you've noticed that it's the stress. Um, so anyway, she's working on getting some stuff cleared out of her house. I have helped her some over the past, you know, couple of years. So when she comes to visit, she tends to bring me some things, which I'm very appreciative of anybody bringing me gifts. She brought a lot and it's all the same thing. And I'm going to show you, I have a box. Do you see all of those shower gels as I whack myself with the cardboard? There are 15 shower gels in here. That hurts. I mean, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy using them a lot because there's a lot of really good scents in here. Like Senorita Margarita. I've already done that one before. I love it. Fresh cream. I just finished one of those. Uh, lemon custard. There's so many. Snow Angel. Another Senorita Margarita. Passion Fruit Daiquiri. Like you see, there's there's a lot of things. Bubbly, which is supposed to smell like champagne. There's there's so much more in there, but it's 15 of them. It's a lot. And I, I try not to get overwhelmed by this stuff because I will use all this. I can go through one of these size. These are the six ounce. I can go through one of these a month, but that's 15 months. <laughs> Actually, technically one is a little bit smaller. This one's only four ounce. So it's it, ever so slightly smaller. I can probably go through this one in three weeks. But you see what I'm saying, it's a lot. And I already had a lot. But by the same token, it's a gift. So how how do I feel bad about that? And, and I will use them a heck of a lot quicker than she will. And um, because she has some medical issues, so she has to be careful with how she showers and stuff like that. So it makes more sense for me to try to use them up for her. But it definitely hurts my inventory. But but I digress. I can deal with it. I can absolutely deal with this. But I just wanted to explain why my numbers aren't as good as they probably should be after such a stellar empties month. So now, now I am sitting at only 67 and a half points. Yes, I gained points from last month, but I should have gained 15 more points. It would have been amazing. It would have been an amazing rehab bank which I, I'm trying to like really bank a lot of points, but, but all of this and like, I'm laughing because it's one of those things where like, I've been making such good progress. And if I wasn't laughing, not that I would be crying, but I would be a little bit more stressed out, but you know, it is what it is. I, I am going to enjoy every single one of these. I'm, I'm going to just put them back here, sir. I don't have to play with them, but yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. I'm, I might, 
I, I need to decide now, do I want to focus on some of the bar soaps that I have that I could get through quicker or do I want to work on the shower gels because they take up more room and they're heavier on my shelf that's like starting to, to dip a little bit. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. But this was a very interesting update because I actually just got these like two days before the end of the month. Yeah, I think I think it was like the 29th or the 30th, something like that, right around there. So I was like sitting pretty with my rehab and then all of a sudden Linda shows up and she has a box. It's crazy. So it's very interesting. We'll see what happens. I don't know, like I said, do I want to focus on the number of soaps because I do have like the small soaps and I can get through those relatively quickly or should I focus on the bigger space hogging, heavier type of shower gels? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Let me know what you think down below and uh, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm going to have to put all this in my inventory and then find a place to put it in my bathroom. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.